Mike Sierra, one can't handle the truth. You're a cheat and a swindler. That's what you are. How can you do a thing like this? I am authorized to assure you these rumors are based on hysteria and are absolutely false. I repeat, these rumors are absolutely false. Welcome back. And thank you for joining me once again as I take another look into the relentless lies of Mike Zero. There is always a problem when it comes to making a video about Zero, and it's actually knowing where to begin. Zero's videos follow a stiff and rigid structure, which are based on speculation or rumor and enhanced with a scripted set of ideas that come from Zero himself. These scripted ideas come in many different forms, but all of them are reusable and can be fixed to anyone he wants to talk about. For example, the firings that have taken place in Hollywood. This is the make-believe situation that Zero has concocted whereby studios have dropped celebrities from their film rosters. What generally happens, or has happened is Zero takes one of numerous film studios that have had a celebrity on the cards for a multitude of projects. The celebrity is then fired or blacklisted and then the projects are put to the wayside. Again I put to you that the celebrity that's fired is pretty much detested, and because the projects were dropped in the blink of an eye, this would suggest that they're not real to begin with. But this curse isn't just one that's copied and pasted to celebrities, it's also an affliction that directors are affected by too. If a celebrity opens their mouth and makes brash unwarranted comments about a film that isn't being received well, it's only a matter of time and loads of views, that Zero decides that the director needs to open their mouths too. This has happened with Indy 5, Snow White 2024, although that's now been pushed back, and finally the current gravy train that being the Marvels. This script from Zero cannot be altered, hence when something comes out that most other people talk about, he tends to ignore it as he can't imprint it with anything he normally lays in front of his subscribers, like celebs getting angry with fans, a celebrity reaction to being fired, directors getting mad at the fans for low attendance at the cinemas, along with Bob Iger and Kathleen Kennedy, who also get irate over low viewings on TV shows. And lastly everyone is now taking fake legal action against everybody else for no real reason whatsoever. These are without a shadow of a doubt the core elements of every single Zero video, and as I said before, they can all be reapplied to whoever he drags into the spotlight. In a shocking turn of events, as it turns out, the main reasoning behind Zegler's firing, from the Snow White sequel to the 2024 film, had much to do with Zegler's growing demands over a large pay increase, since Disney's plan was to release this film by 2026 with plans of keeping the same amount of screen time for Zegler and a near similar pay in the following film that they initially fired her from. I think I may have touched on this before, but that was Zero talking about Zegler being removed from a Snow White project primarily over money. That video is around two months old, and Zero hasn't mentioned Snow White since its shift in regards to its possible release date, from 2024 to 2025. It never ceases to amaze me that news was forthcoming every day about Snow White, and now its release date has been moved, the news has completely stopped. But let's get back to a removed project and someone being fired because of money issues. Johnny, of course, was also excited to join the Star Wars universe, as he loves to do roles that require lots of makeup, where he can fully immerse himself into the experience and into that role. Now further, another reason why Depp was fired from the role was because Depp eventually began to come up to a disagreement on what he was being offered for the role by Disney and was demanding a larger amount of income by Disney to play the role of Hondo in this live action series. That was from last year, 2022, and an ongoing bout of zero clickbait which found Depp in the role of Hondo, which was agreed on two years earlier in 2020. Then Zero goes on to explain that because of the situation with Amber Heard, Johnny was on the cusp of being let go and replaced by someone else. Further to that money became the issue, and Depp was fired from the show, which is still in development, because he raised the issue of how much he was going to be paid. This is the staple get-out clause for Zero when it comes to shutting down a movie or TV project with no name or even a loose plot synopsis. So Zegler was let go from a Snow White sequel even though the first film hasn't even been released yet, and Depp was also fired from a show with no name, 
which has also been cancelled and both primarily money related. Due to complications of Brie Larson overly demanding a specific pay grade with her contract for the project, things began to become way too difficult for Disney to handle things with Brie Larson properly. Now, Brie Larson was demanding for herself to be paid double the amount, surprisingly, that Disney was offering her for the project, and that this was creating tension the past couple of months between herself and Disney. Bob Chapek made the decision to fire her from this new project that will actually fall into new stories of Palpatine and a young Darth Maul on the side, as one angle to the Star Wars show, but not the main focus per se. Maul and Palpatine are set to become cameos for some of the episodes as well. However, Larson's character Maeve has now been replaced and written out of the show that will be announced by this November. For that last clip I went back another year to 2021, and yet another firing over money, but this time round it was the turn of the ever-reliable moneymaker, Brie Larson. She was apparently fired from a show that was going to be a spin-off show to The Acolyte, which you heard was going to be announced in November of the same year. Needless to say there was no announcement about this TV show, let alone any news about a show with Darth Maul and a young Palpatine, and that was well over two years ago now. So if she was fired from a TV show back then, why has Brie Larson now decided to take legal action against Disney for allegedly being fired from future projects because of the failure of the Marvels? Iman Vellani put it rather well in a comment she made a few days ago when she said the following. The Marvels flopping at the box office is for Bob Iger to focus on not me, what's the point? It has nothing to do with me. And she's right, the actors do their thing, get paid, and that's it. They are only as good as the direction they're given and the story they need to tell. You could have some of the most renowned actors and actresses out there, but if the script's bad and the direction stinks, there is no making it right. Over the course of three years we have had five people fired from projects that have never been announced, with the main reason being money issues, and I say five because you can also add Daisy Ridley and Pedro Pascal to that list too. And now we have a new clickbait title making the rounds, everybody is up in arms and taking legal action. Bob Iger did it with South Park and so did Kathleen Kennedy. And because those titles got a high view rate, we have Brie and Rachel Zegler taking action because the Marvels and the Hunger Games have underperformed, so they have been let go from any future projects. The thing is we have a video from Zero that tells you Brie Larson is taking some form of legal action for reasons unknown or proved. This video came out on the 20th of November, the same day Brie told Entertainment Tonight about what could be coming next for her character. This of course may be something or nothing, but it still begs the question, why sue or file some form of complaint through the courts, but still do interviews about a character you're technically not going to be playing anymore in any other show or film? This all makes even less sense if you take into consideration that the Marvels is not the first film to go pear-shaped at the box office. We also had Mobius, The Flash, Dark Phoenix, The Suicide Squad, Hellboy 2, Quantum Mania and The Hulk. And yet I didn't hear anything about anyone going to court about low attendance figures for those films, or being fired and dropped from other projects that may use the character you're playing. This is all about using a disliked person and putting her into situations that people with very low IQs accept as being true, which is somewhat sad when you think how gullible people have become. If you like Larson, that's fine. If you don't like her, that's fine too. Me personally I'm not worried one way or the other, I don't tend to watch a great deal of these superhero films and go with shows more like Blue Eye Samurai, Gantz, and the classics, War of the Worlds, the original version, Forbidden Planet, The Day the Earth Stood Still, and many more. According to Mike Zero, who in my experience, again, no disrespect, get, make your money, you know, this isn't like, I'm not dumping on the guy, but in my experience, about 99% of the things that he says is completely fabricated. Well, that's all I have for you today. So until the next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. So maybe come up from your mom's basement, okay? And get a real life, you nerd. Yeah, basic.